Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakudash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect out there pushing his word in truth and sincerity and with charity. This is going to be a lesson going into the book of Proverbs, the third cha 13 chapter. And just uh, read, you know, a couple of uh, verses and, you know, and oh, Lord willing, this video is edifying because that's what, you know, we're here to do is to edify the flock, you know, and to water, you know, the the flock as we water uh the flock we water our, ourselves as well you know and then pushing out these lessons uh is a way to keep you in the spirit keep your mind focused in the kingdom of heaven because that's ultimately the end goal all right and we're required to labor all right to enter into our rest all right you know because the Lord, He sees our labor of love. He, you know, He sees what we do. You know, He sees what uh, um, the effort we put in into doing these videos, and and uh, you know, He He He's not unforgetful or unrighteous to forget our labor of love that we've been uh, bestowing. You know, because when you read the scriptures, it tells you what man that the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. So us laboring, all right. Aside from not being being uh, uh, not being much labors, that's 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 a, a, a um, you know that's a good thing inside the, the Lord, man. You know, and what the Lord told Peter, hey, if you love me, feed my flock. You know, but I'm gonna start here in Proverbs thirteen and one. It says a wise son hears his father's instruction. All right, and this is going into a father son relationship, but. Who is the ultimate father to us? The Heavenly Father. So if we, if we are wise, we're going to listen to the instructions of the Father. All right? You know, the Lord set up wisdom and knowledge and understanding so we could uh, live by. And that's our... And, and, and what is that, man? This book, this word, the commandments. All right? So it says, a man... As I read it, verse 101, a wise son here, his father's instruction... But a scorner here is not rebuke. And what's rebuke, man? Correction. All right. And, what, and um, that's that's why people are so messed up because they, they 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 feel like they're above correction. You know? Rebuke, reprove, rebuke, reprove. Alright. Let's look up that word uh reproof on the dictionary. And going into these words is are heavy, man. You know, you know the apostle Gabar always mentions how he how he loves to go into words because you know it just it gives you a, a deeper meaning and understanding when when you uh, uh, go into these different words. All right, this is an expression of blame or disapproval, reproof, I rebuke. You know, so when you reprove someone, you blaming them. All right. You know, it says an expression of blame or disapproval. All right. So, reproof, personal shame, right? Damn, look at that. Personal shame, scorn, being. What's that word? Ignominy. I can't. I can't really go and click it, but ignominy. It's a good word to look up. Ignominy. You know. So basically, we should feel ashamed when you get reproved, man, because, he, you know, um, that, that's part of, uh, it says, what, godly sorrow? When there's godly sorrow, you feel ashamed of what you did, you know? So it says, a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of transgressors shall eat violence. It says he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that will open wide 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 his lips shall have destruction. And that's what man, you know, not being able to hold your peace. You know, what I'm saying uh, speaking blasphemies. All right, because it tells you in James that the tongue is a 
a small member in the body, but it's really dangerous. You know? So just with one small member of your body, all right, you could destroy yourself. That's what it says, but he that opened wide his lips shall have destruction. Because that one, because your tongue could put you to death, man. All right? Life and life, uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue, man. Verse 4, the soul of the sluggard desireth and had nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. And that's what ultimately what we uh, 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 want, man. It should be made fat to prosper. You know, you're not a, you're not a prosper being a lazy, being a niggard. All right. One one must be diligent. You know, one must be uh, uh, um, occupied in, in the work of the Lord, man, as we are required to. You know, this is verse five. A righteous man hated lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. You know, and like I said, there's a shame, godly shame, our godly uh, sorrow. And then there's, and there's one that's, that you're just ashamed. But because uh, uh, basically it's, it's not sincere. It's because, you know, you you're just caught. You know, the shame that, as a matter of fact, since I brought that up, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find that. It's great since the rock. Uh, let's look up shame. Man, there's a lot of words. There's a lot of scriptures with the word shame. Um, But I believe it's in Sirach. Yeah, this one right here. It's the Rock 4. And I'm going to start up a bit. Uh, I'm going to start to verse 20. Observe the opportunity and beware of evil. And be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. Right? Because, you know, you get reproof for something you did. All right? But then you get, uh, then you uh, 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 get right. You know, you correct. Or oh, that with that 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 which was reproved. So, you know that because it concerns your soul, man. You know you want to be uh, uh, found blameless in the sight of the Lord. That's why you. That's why you are corrected. All right, verse twenty one says, "For there is a shame that bringeth sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace." And see, because that shame that bringeth a uh, sin. All right, is is a. Uh, uh, you know, it's gonna uh, uh, is is gonna want uh, to be uh, made right again. It says, and there is a shame which is glory and grace, because people feel ashamed of, of they don't really feel shame for what they do, so because they continue to do it, man. That's what it says if that brings us sin. Uh, you get corrected in one thing, and you feel bad, but you don't do nothing about it, and, and you continue doing it. You know, and continue uh, let your iniquities uh, uh, pile up, man. But then you feel shame, you know, which brings glory and grace because you uh, uh, right away, you know, correct the situation and, and you and, and you learn not to do it again. You know, Amory verse twenty two says, "Accept no person against thy soul, and let not the not let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall." All right. Verse 23, and refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom and her beauty. All right. So there's a balance, you know, because we just read in Proverbs that, you know, uh, he that keep his mouth, keep his life because you don't want to bring out, you want, you don't want to spew out uh, uh, blasphemies. All right. You know, you, you, you want to, uh, 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 um. You know, uh, 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 you, got, you, you, you know, like scriptures, uh, the same tongue come with curses and blessings. You know, basically those blessings as well, man. There's knowledge, there's word. You know, there's uh, uh, there's truth. But if you if you if you preaching out this word, but at the same time, you know, spewing out uh, 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 other philosophies and, and uh, backing them up, you know, then that's that's you not keeping your 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 mouth, man, and you know. 
but uh going coming back to Proverbs 13 and um uh, and five a righteous man hated lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and coming to shame. All right, and we, we now we know what that shame is, man. All right. The the shame that that brings sin. All right. Righteous righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but the but wickedness overthroweth the sinners. You know, and how is that? Because you just constantly being wicked, man. What well, it tells you in this rock the fifth chapter. Uh matter of fact, I'm gonna get it real quick. Since already in, um Sirach five and three says and say not who should control me for my works for the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Say not I have sinned and one harm hath happened to me. For the Lord is long suffering and he will he will in no wise let thee go. Alright, and that's being what presumptuous you know, presumption sin sins, you know. Verse five concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin to sin. And that's the thing, man. When, when you do that shame that brings sin, all right, it's because you don't have the fear of the Lord with you, man. You don't fear. You know? You just let, letting your iniquities pile up instead of not letting your sins weigh you down and just, you know, righteous man follows seven times but gets right back up, man. And that's that shame that that uh, uh, is through glory and grace. You know, so verse six, righteousness keep him that is upright in the way, but the but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is that, there is that, there is that maketh himself rich yet had nothing. There is that make himself poor yet have the great riches. All right, you know, and and who who is that poor that yet has great riches? The elect, you know, because it says though though we are poor. Yet yeah, rich, man. It tells you in Proverbs uh, 2 and 9. I mean, uh, Revelation 2 and 9. All right. We're a rich wife because we got this knowledge. We're rich in knowledge. You know, that that's above off uh, silver and rubies. You know? But, hey, there's rich men that, that are really poor because they got all these riches, all this wealth. But, you know, they don't got the true riches. I, you know, and they have nothing. Man. Wisdom won't go through everything. You know, you know, so pretty much, you know, I'm ended off here. Um, you know, it's basically open was open forum through the spirit. You know, we got into, sh you know, shame and reproof. You know, and there's more, there's a lot, plenty more to go into. But the point is, man, that when you get corrected, that shame supposed to produce a, a, a brightness, man. All right. You know, you're supposed to uh, uh, um, correct what you with what uh, with uh, you know what whatever you did wrong, and you know, and, and do better, man. You know, so with that, I brought to lesson was edifying through the spirit. Probably help by Shimia Shai by Shimia Kakodas. Next, I'm gonna say Shalom and I bought.